Well, welcome in, everybody. I'm meteorologist Jason Michael. It's Monday, so it's time for another weather update. And look at that on our little weather alert thing. I believe that was snow coming down. Yep. Here, it is March... March 24th, <laughs> March 24th, and we are talking about snow in the air. Uh, you know, nothing all that impactful, but not just today, but I don't think we can rule it out the next couple of storms. Yeah, especially Wednesday morning. Wednesday oh. morning looks a little bit crummy. Uh, yeah, so here we go. I mean, we, I guess it's been a very mild month, and we were kind of like, yeah, snow's pretty much done, which it really is. But it's just like, I don't know, you wake up on a Monday morning and on my way in there was actually some grapple, which is almost like those dipping dots, if you've ever had a dipping dot. Yeah. Um, a little grapple, a little snow in the area, so. Um, you know what's crazy is coming from the South Shore this morning, it was dry as a bone mm -hmm. when I left this morning, but roughly around seven, eight, we started to get some sprinkles, yeah. and now it's a lot of wet weather. And outside. now, yeah, it's basically wet for the rest of the day. So let's let's chat about our weather alert today. Um, and again, this is the second Monday in a row. If you remember last Monday, it was pouring rain. That was the St. Patrick's Day rain. Um, so our second dreary Monday in a row, um, and we are going to basically have a bunch of rain this afternoon, making for a lovely PM commute around the area. <laughs> <laughs> you know, it's, it's funny, like talking to the anchors this morning and say, Jason, we thought we were done with this. Mm. Well, spring is kind of doing spring things, especially in late March, as you can imagine, the seasons are trying to change over here. And we still are likely to have sort of these quick hitting systems move through, even if we receive any sort of snow or mix or anything like that. For the most part, it's a quick hitting sort of thing. And we just really start to transition pretty uh, quickly after that begins, such as like this morning, we had some of that grapple that Tara is just uh, speaking of. And even as we head into the afternoon, friends, a lot of the rain showers that we will receive will kind of be in a collective fashion. So it will come in and it'll move on out. And then we have a few stragglers kind of bringing up the rear uh, in areas north and west as we head into the overnight hours. And I think even by tomorrow morning, Terry, looking like, you know, we'll mm -hmm. not only will dry out, we'll cool off a little bit and then we'll start to sort of kind of see some more sunshine tomorrow midday. Thank goodness, yeah. So we got about a half an inch of water on average uh, this evening, which again, is not a bad thing in spring. Let's keep the rain coming on a semi-regular basis anyway, so we don't <laughs> have any drought issues. But uh, yeah, half an inch of water, and then tomorrow, like you were saying, um, sunshine will return. Um, temperatures a bit above average. I think the only downer tomorrow is probably gonna be kind of gusty. Yeah. Um, we're looking at 15 to probably 35 mile an hour winds out of the west tomorrow. So a little bit of a, a gusty day, but at least the sunshine will be back after sort of a dreary day today. So. You remember we mentioned this like a couple weeks ago that we were, you know, we were doing one of these chats. December, January, February were below average, mm -hmm. noticeably. Mm -hmm. But March has always been, uh, it almost has been the opposite. Absolutely. We're, I, so I was just looking at it before we came in. I think we're 4.7 degrees above average for the wow. month, which is just outside of the top 10 warmest uh, months to date on record in Boston. So okay. how quickly, like you say, I mean, we, were, we had these strain, three, three below average months in a row, which is very unusual for us. And here we go right back into... Um, a, a very much above average month. Yeah, uh, I, and, and I can't, I, I cannot remember in short term memory of any day we've had thus far this month that have been within two or three degrees of right, the average. Right, yeah. Well, this I feel like this week we'll have a couple of days where it's not gonna be as quite as mild as the last few weeks. Mm -hmm. um, but I'll, I don't know about you, but if you can hear it in my voice, uh, I can definitely attest to the fact that the allergens, the allergy season has begun. Um, right now it's all about the tree pollen and tomorrow with that sunshine coming back and the winds, it'll be a rough day outside if, you, if you're an allergy sufferer. And really for the rest of the month and into April, it's, you know, it's that time of year. So yeah. um, we, it's funny, we, it seems like every year we do a piece on like, Allergy season's getting longer. Allergy season's getting worse. And um, yes, I can feel it. <laughs> he, he, he's feeling it, okay? He's feeling it today. Um, but, you know, typically, you know, when we have sort of these events happen and some of the rain kind of helps to temper it just a little mm -hmm. bit. But then, I, I don't know if mold is a major factor, but I remember being down oh, south. Yeah. It was a huge factor. Oh, yeah, definitely. Especially depending upon the season and how much rain, how much, you know, how wet it is. But um, <laughs> so here's that next one we were talking about. This is Wednesday morning. I'm not sure, I don't know about you, and we haven't talked in depth about this, you and I, yet, but I, I'm not sure how impactful or how widespread the snow is going to be. It does certainly show up on this one model as it looks fairly significant. This would be Wednesday morning as you're heading out. It may be similar to this morning where there's some a kind of a mix or some snow, some sleet. I don't, I'm not so sure that we're talking about anything too impactful, but we'll have to see what the models look like in the next 24 hours. Yeah. And, 
and get an idea here. But at the, and nonetheless, it's going to be a another sort of dreary, wet day on Wednesday, uh, and we'll just have to see how you know how impactful, if if at all, the snow is. Um, kind of like last week. Yeah. Dry exactly. one day, wet the next. Yep. And then there's another one coming this weekend. But before we get there. We probably should have, so this, is, this, is, would be, this would be a cool event if we were going to be able to see it. <laughs> um, New England doing New England things again. Yeah, so just so you know, and again, uh, temper, you know, don't get too excited because the forecast is not great for this weekend. But just so you know, there is a partial solar eclipse going on. It's, it's kind of fun. It's right as the sun is rising. Sunrise Saturday morning is 6.32 a.m., and as it rises, that's during that will be the maximum amount eclipse here in Boston, which wow. is 56.7%. Um, and basically, that uh, you know, over the next 36 minutes or so, um, the moon will kind of move across uh, across the uh, sun there, and then the eclipse ends at 7:08. So you get a little short little window Saturday morning to see a partial solar eclipse. You would have had a small window. You would have had yeah. uh, And the reason why we're not going to get too in-depth on this is, again, because the weather does not look great. But it just, it's, it would have been a nice kind of private event for the Northeast. It's, it's nowhere else is, uh, you know, basically it's us, New England, the Northeast, and uh, up in the Canadian Maritimes are getting like this private little solar eclipse. Yeah. But um, again, the weather, here's our next frame, and uh, here's the forecast. Yay, yay, yay. Yeah. So okay, so not looking good. Friday completes, and then there's Saturday morning, 6 a.m. I mean, it really is a crummy forecast. Unless you're at across points of northern Maine, mm -hmm. uh, you'll have a better chance of seeing that. But again, southern New England is going to be starting out with some snow and then eventually having some rain work into the region. It could be definitely very messy, at least for a Saturday morning. Thank goodness it's not a weekday morning, which we're already going to have you know, mm -hmm. a couple days of dealing with that this week. But as the warm front moves a little bit farther up to the north, it's just going to sort of kind of dance right around us here and keep us in this very murky sort of pattern through at least a Sunday. Yeah, um, that front is just kind of draped around us. And this will probably change a little bit over the next few days, but it looks like that boundary is going to be right over our area yeah. most of the weekend, yeah. which, which is never a good thing. <sighs> Yeah, we'll get there. Those those spring showers happening yet again. But at least we have more sunshine, everybody. I don't know if like you, but my living room faces to the west, and it is a completely different picture every day mm -hmm. from 3 to 7. And I love it. I, I truly do love it. So, again, our days are lengthening here. As you can see, we're going to be closing out. Can you believe it? Closing out the month of March here in, in the next week or so, a 627 sunrise and a 709 sunset. Yes. I mean, to, so, yeah, today the sun is setting after 7 o'clock, uh, which, Amazing. again, we won't see it because of the, the clouds and the rain. But just to say, if... It's out, the sun is behind those clouds and it will be setting after seven, which I think is like really good news. And we're making huge progress as we've been saying on this blog every day, a couple of minutes a day. Um, and opening day for the Red Sox on the road is coming up later this week, but at Fenway, it's just 11 days away. So wow, that's awesome. So uh, yeah, hopefully there's, it's not still raining and snowing at that point. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, well, you know, and then, you know, from what I've only been here, what, a year and a half and, I've been told in years past the Boston Marathon is typically a little crummy. You never know what you're going to get. Last year wasn't that way. It was just That's cold. True. Yes. Uh, so maybe we can do a, a double take. Maybe. Yeah. I mean, Fenway Park in April, you just never know what you're going to get. But you want to, usually you got to bring a blanket, you know, this time of year. Uh, here's Jason Seven Day, uh, and you can see those couple of disturbances midweek and on the weekend. Wet and then dry and then wet and then dry again. Again, watching what's going to be happening as we head towards the weekend here, friends. But again, after today, our next big thing is likely going to be on Wednesday morning. Again, beginning a bit more colder here. You can see around 30 degrees to start, so there's a good chance of some flakes to start. But, you know, we will not be able to sustain that into the midday and nor in the afternoon as temperatures climb back into the mid to upper 40s for some and likely hang out in the mid to low 40s for others. Back dry again, again on Thursday with a short-lived area of high pressure, breezy for Thursday and Friday before we start to see another system sort of crawl along the Atlantic coast there north into the region for early Saturday. Unfortunately, again, going to be pretty cloudy and a little bit mucky for the partial solar. Yeah, this is kind of a classic New England seven day in March. There are no big, no 60s or 70s. You know, it's, it's just kind of a up and down showers, flakes. Um, so, you know, this, yes, that's a great word. Wait, great way to say it. I would like to remind you if you're watching us on YouTube to like and subscribe to the channel and we'll we'll be updating the forecast on the stream, obviously on YouTube and on the air all throughout the week. So Jason will give you the latest on 
if we are going to see any snow Wednesday and again this weekend. And hopefully, hey, fingers crossed, maybe that front wiggles a little bit north on Saturday morning and we see a little eclipse. Listen, hopefully it kicks out out of here. That's so we don't have to worry do about it. that. Yeah. All right, guys, that completes our little weather update here on this Monday. It's about 1140. I'll see you in 20 minutes on the tube. Don't forget to like and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Join in on the chat. We love to talk to you.